loves the red-nosed reindeer. Had a very shiny... Hi guys, welcome back to my... Nah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's Vlogmas video, I'm going to be covering with you how I plan. Um, I'm a little bit OCD and a little bit monkish at times, so I'm going to share with you the system that I have found that kind of, that works for me to keep me in line and keep me organized um, in my daily life and when I'm traveling and things of that sort. So I have three things that primarily that I use in order for me to stay on track. Number one, I keep a dry erase board calendar on the wall. Number two, I use a planner and Google Calendar hand in hand. And number three, I use Trello. So the first thing I like to use is a dry erase board calendar. One thing I really like about a calendar, especially when you have different colored mar markers, you can color code by a person or by things that you are doing. So right now I have some things that I'm planning for on here. I also have some of my husband's things that he has to do. So that way I can look up and I can see at a glance what I'm planning to do or what I need to prepare for. And then I also have monthly goals on the other side. So that way I can see what I need to do. I also have a legend at the bottom right hand sides for things that, um, so that way when I color code for different parts of my life and AJ's and our families, everything's in there together and we know whose belongs with what. But this is a great way to just have a visual real quickly of where you need to be and also you can change this um, and I'll, I'll input in this into my Google Calendar as well but I'll show you how I do that later. So the next thing I like to use to plan is a, just a good old fashioned planner. Now I love to use this in coordination with a Google Calendar. So my Google Calendar gets updated daily depending on who schedules phone calls with me or if I have appointments or things I need to attend. So what I like to do the day before is I like to go through my calendar and see what I'm expected to do and plan out my day. So currently I am using the Passion Planner um, by Angela Trinidad and uh, the Passion Planner Company. I really enjoy it because you have the option to mind map in the front of it, which is really nice. Um, so it's just a great way to get all your ideas out. My other really favorite one is by Best Self Journal, and I really like just uh, the matter of how they um, have a lot of very important things all batched into one thing. And typically what I do, this is just an example of previously, is I like to time block my life, and then I like to schedule out what I'm doing in each of those time blocks, and then I will go back through at the end of the day and write what I'm grateful for, or if I was like what I accomplished and I also like to go back through and plan at the end of the night plan tomorrow's schedule so that way I know what I need to pick up where I left off and can go from there so normally this is what a blank week looks like so I will go through and fill out the date uh, put the dates in for each of the day I will put my my intended schedule for each of the days any appointments that I have currently and I'll go back through and time block everything either with highlighter or I'll just use it with pen if I'm not feeling that comfortable and I'll go through and I'll put my my main goal for each of those days that I need to accomplish and I will have two of them one for my own personal projects that I'm working for and working on and two something for the household because that way I'm always doing something to move the needle forward, especially since we just, um, excuse me, squeeze me, hey, squeeze me. Especially since I just moved up here, I have to handle all those documents in order to get the permanent residence and everything changed. And that's a whole lot of mess, especially not living in an apartment. So it's a lot more work than normally would if we had a traditional apartment. So that's the main thing that I have to work for. So the next thing I like to use is called Trello, another common wall common one is called Asana. Um, I don't have as much experience with Asana um, just because Trello, when I tried it, it's worked for me. So for right now, I don't want to try to bring anything else in because, well, it's working. So one thing I really like about Trello is you can kind of segment your life into different boards. And what they are is it's kind of like a project planning um, kind of like software for you where you can kind of make different columns for things. So what I like to do, especially um, for example, for my like YouTube board, I have uh, video ideas, script outline. Um, I have filmed, edit, thumbnail, uploaded. And then I have another column on the very end in case I have something that I wanted to coordinate with one of those videos. 
And then I go into each video and I have any notes or anything that I need to add or anything that I need to do or plan. And then I also give it a due date, which allows me to upload it onto a calendar and also link it to my Google Calendar so that way I know when it's uploading and that way I can actually visually see it in a calendar format on Trello and on my Google Calendar. It's also great for planning vacations and things of that sort. My husband and I have a vacation board that we use and it just kind of allows me to kind of start planning and getting all of our ideas of where we want to go in one place and kind of script out where we want to go. And it just makes it a little bit easier. And then I also use it for goal planning so that way I can put all my goals out for the whole year. And then I can like segment it by quarter or by month on what my goals are. And it just kind of helps me make this giant big goal way more manageable in the process. So that's what I use to plan. If you have any questions or you want me to uh, do an even longer video on this, please include it, include your questions in the description below or any requests, and I'll be happy to film those for you guys. So until next time, I'll see you in the next Vlogmas. Bye! And if you ever saw it, you wouldn't say it glows.